What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So earlier I was making a video about Smush Parker, and uh, I was talking about, you know, his comments about Kobe, and a lot of people, I saw a lot of people, not on my video, but other videos, defending Kobe's actions and was like, well, what do you expect Kobe to treat him like? Smush was Kobe's worst teammate. He was his worst teammate ever. Smush deserved to be talked to like that when you ain't playing up to par, when you ain't playing up to the level. Smush was Kobe's worst teammate ever. I want to tell y'all right now, if you think Smush Parker was Kobe's worst teammate, you don't watch basketball. Most importantly, you're not a bit, as big of a Kobe fan as you say you are. Because Kobe has several teammates way worse. Way worse than Smush Parker. Number one on the list, DJ Benga. A lot of y'all don't even know who the hell DJ Benga is, and it don't matter. It really don't. But I'm going to inform y'all if you want to look him up. He the dude with the big ears that's seven feet tall. And spell his name DJ, last name, last name M-B-E-N-G-A. The highest points per game he ever had over one season is 2.7 points per game. Trash. Garbage. Okay? The next person on the list, Luke Walton. Luke had one year where he, had, where he averaged double figures, 11 a game. After that, 7. In other years, he was 5, 2, 3. Luke was trash. Garbage. Only reason he was really in the league is because he Bill Walton's son. Other than that, he posed to have been gone. I never thought Luke had game. I never admired nothing about his game. I never thought he was nice in no no type of way at all. I'm talking about no iota of nice at all, okay? Another dude that was worse than uh, Smush Parker, Robert Sacre from Gonzaga. Trash. Garbage. And he was there at the end of Kobe's years. He was terrible. Poor Robo had a career-high 5.4 points per game with the Lakers. In 2013-2014, his first year, he averaged 1.3 points per game. Third year, he averaged 4.6 points per game. And uh, third, year, third year, 4.6. Fourth year, 3.5 points per game. Trash. I remember Robert Sacre missed a dunking at the top of the, of the, <laughs> the tip of the rim and fell down. Just garbage. Okay? Another dude who played with the, who played with the Lakers who was trash. Slava Medvedenko. Garbage. Career high was 8.3 points per game one year. Every year after that, other than that, it was four points a game and three points a game. Trash. Nothing about Slava was ever night. I don't know why he was on the team. He was on the team when they won championships in the first uh with the, the last two uh the last two two years of the three peat. That was Slava's first two years on the team. He was garbage. He was just tall for no reason. He couldn't rebound, couldn't block no shots. Couldn't do nothing. I'm talking about, I don't know why he was on the team. I guess they might have owed somebody in his family a favor. The Lakers said, sure, come on. Another dude who was trash for the Lakers from the University of Illinois, might I add. Brian Cook, garbage. Garbage. Best year he ever averaged with the Lakers, 7.9 7 points per game. Never averaged double figures at all in the NBA. Only one person on this list so far has averaged double figures in the league, and that was Luke Walton. That was one season, Okay. Brian Cook, trash. He another one. Couldn't rebound. Couldn't block no shots. Couldn't jump over a sheet of paper. Just tall for no damn reason. Another dude that played with Kobe who was trash, Kwame Brown. I know y'all love his YouTube channel. Kwame was always garbage. He was trash. He couldn't do nothing. Nothing I can remember Kwame was good at at all. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. He was trash. Now, he had one year we averaged double figures a game, 10 points a game in one season. For his career average, he averaged six points a game and five rebounds a game. For the Lakers, he averaged seven in his first year, eight in his second year, five in his third year. Trash and was worse than Smush Parker. He garbage, okay? Now, in, in Smush's two years with the Lakers, he averaged 11.5. And in the second year, he averaged 11. Which is a lot better than what them other dudes did in their collective years with the Lakers. Y'all want to give Smush hard a hard time, but them dudes I named was Boo Boo. Boo Boo Burgers, they was garbage. I'm talking about they was hot dumpster juice. They was 10 pounds of bounce that ass, all right? They was terrible. And I don't care who, you can say something about what you want about Smush. Averaging 11 points a game in back-to-back -back years on an NBA team is not easy. Derek Fisher wouldn't even average 11 a game. Now, some might say, well, I, I get it because Derek was playing with Shaq. He was playing, um, hold on, one second. Derek was playing with Shaq. He was playing with, um, um, with Kobe. He was playing with other dudes that could score. 
Um, no, Derek did average um eleven point five for two seasons. No, three eleven point five for two seasons, and then um uh ten point five for another season with the Lakers. My bad. I'm a, um yeah. No, Derek averaged eleven a few times. I'm lying. He averaged eleven what three times with the Lakers and ten one season. Right. Um, now nah, Smush went better than Derek Fisher, but. Um, and I wouldn't care if the, what the point per game average is either, because it just sometimes it don't even even out. But because uh, sometimes numbers don't tell a whole story. But them other dudes, yes, the numbers tell a whole story for them. The other dudes I named was trash, but Smush was a lot better than a lot of them dudes that I just named. Kobe played with some dudes that was trash, and y'all always want to put it on y'all because y'all want to take up for Kobe being an asshole. Y'all always want to be like make excuses. Well, Smush was the worst player Kobe played with. No, he was not. Look up the names I just named. 